Establishing a really good evening routine has been so essential for our family to be less stressed and just healthier and just ready for a great night's sleep. So I'm going to share today our step-by-step -step evening routine that we get in at least four or five evenings a week. Welcome back to the Vibrant Life Show here in the Cloud Dojo. I'm Corey, and this is your spot for inspiration on living a healthy, happy, and vibrant life. So we can't always do this evening routine because sometimes we have things that we have to do in town, but we make sure at least four or five nights a week we are home as a family and doing this routine together. Our kids really love it. It's very grounding for them, so I'm going to share what we do. So a newer thing because we are trying to clean up our home better and teach the kids more personal responsibility over their messes, 15 minutes before my husband comes home, we just get to cleaning. I set a 15 minute timer, we put on some music, and the kids and I will clean up the house, declutter, put away all our messes, and get ready to have an evening with a more refreshed house all together. So when my husband gets home, he does a quick check to make sure the girls have cleaned up their messes. When he gets off of work, he's been missing the kids all day, so he really spends the whole evening with him, and of course, they are very excited to see him, so they have made sure to clean up their messes, and then they all go on a walk together. So they will grab the dogs, they'll go for a walk around the farm. We live a little bit outside of the city, so it's peaceful, it's a really sweet wind down time for them. And then they go for about half an hour. During that time, I hang out at home, I finish up dinner, I get to just finally exhale from the day, I might call a girlfriend, and catch up and then once they get back we all sit down and we have family dinner together family dinner is so important for us I mean getting together as a family and eating of course it's always so good it's a time when we really kind of share and open up but especially in the evening I just think everybody's winding down from their day they're starting to settle in and you're just a little more open so it's really a priority that we have family dinners together as often as we can so after dinner we also all clean up together my husband calls it putting the kitchen to bed and so we will at least try to load the dishwasher I mean our kitchen oscillates between very messy and doing pretty okay but at least we try to get those clean dishes to make our morning less stressful and if we can unearth a clean counter or two that is awesome then Sean will race the kids to go get ready for bed ready set go I will finish up in the kitchen a little bit and I'll also try if I can to make myself a cup of tea with milk. It just, it's such a soothing part of my evening. So the kids are with Sean, they're showering, they put lotion on, they get pajamas on, they floss and brush. So while he's getting the kids ready for bed, I'm getting myself ready for bed. It's probably pretty similar to the kids' routine. I can do another video like sharing my products and whatever sometime if you're interested, but I'm a pretty basic girl. So it's kind of just what the kids are doing. And so then we will all say our family prayer together. I just really love that. That's probably one of my favorite times in the evening is getting together, praying with my family, just a gratitude for the day that we've had, for the blessings in our lives. And then Sean will stay with the kids and he will tell them a story. The kids love Sean's stories. He's a really funny guy and he tells great stories. And often when my little one wakes me up in the morning, she'll just come in with something like, hi mommy, so there was this lion and everybody thought he was mean, but really he was so nice. And it'll just take me a minute to orient and be like, oh, that's a daddy story, okay? So they love those stories. So he'll tell them a story that he makes up and so a lot of times it'll bring up themes that have been going on for them in their lives. So he'll bring those up through the characters and the stories. And then he sings them lullabies. We actually, I grew up with having lullabies every night before bed. And so these are the same lullabies and Sean's learned them now and then he sings them to the kids. So that's really sweet. And then he will tuck our little one into bed. While he's doing all that, just rewind, I am doing my favorite part of my evening, which is my wind down routine. This looks different just depending on kind of how I'm feeling and what I'm in the mood for in different phases in my life. But ideally, I've got that cup of tea and I do my gratitude journal. I love the pocketudes. It's just what it sounds like. It's a pocket gratitude journal. It makes it really easy and approachable to just write your daily gratitude. So I take a few minutes to do that. Then I stretch out. I have to stretch out. Even if I'm not doing anything else, I will make sure I stretch out because 
my body will just get so sore if I'm not doing that regularly. So I just work out the kinks, I get a good stretch in, and then I will do a meditation. So my meditation, I may just be lying there and just zoning out in silence, or I might be sitting, or I might turn on Insight Timer. I've talked about this app before on my channel. It is just a wonderful app. It's basically like YouTube meets Amazon for wellness. So, so basically people from around the world are posting meditations or beautiful pieces of music, even yoga sequences, and then users can rate all that. That's kind of the Amazon part. And you can also filter it by different themes and duration. And so you just get just your pick of amazing meditations to listen to. So I often like to do that. And so when Sean's kind of done with his lullabies about the time that I'm finishing up my meditation, my older daughter comes out and she has a little bit more that she does to wind down for the evening. So she goes and fills out her reflections. I've talked about this in another video, but basically this is just written reflections that she shares every night, you know, how her day was, thoughts that she had, how she's feeling, questions she has, her gratitudes. It's just a space for her to write and kind of prompt her to think about and reflect on her day and she gets to share that with us. It's great, especially if you just don't have a lot of time every day to chat about all the things that might come up. This makes sure that nothing gets missed or at least less falls through the cracks. And then she also does her own stretch out routine. And also then Sean's going to get ready for bed. He's putting the chickens away. And so when all of that's done, we reconvene and we have what we call special time. So you know how, I don't know if you have multiple kids, actually, I'd love to hear in the comments below, like the ages of your kids, if you just have one or more. For those of you who have, you know, multiple kids, I don't know if this happens for you, but I'm spending a lot more time in the day with my little one while the older one has more activities going on or she's in school longer in the day. And so we just don't get as much time to catch up with her. So that's why we started special time. It's a time where we just, the three of us sit together, we chat. If anything came up from the reflections the last couple of days, she'll, you know, we'll get to talk about that and she can share more about it. And we also love to play card games and board games. It's really just about 15 or 20 minutes a night, but it's a really special time for us. So once that is done, we will actually do a little meditation with her just to get her in the habit as a kid of doing a little meditation right before bed. And then we sing her final song. We just have one little tuck in song that we sing to each kid. And it is like a Pavlovian response. As soon as she hears that final song, she just starts yawning and it just gets her right ready for bed. So then she'll go to bed. And Sean and I will just have a little bit of time together to just snuggle, maybe watch something really not super exciting, just a good wind down show and just, yeah, have our evening together. So that is my evening routine for me and my family. I'm so curious what's different about my routine versus your routine. I just really would love to know what yours is like. So please share that in the comments below. And of course, if anything inspired you today that you're thinking of trying, I'd love to hear about that as well. So with all of that being said, here is wishing you a healthy, happy, and vibrant week ahead, and I'll see you next time in Cloud Dojo. Bye!